Clark Chapman is a space scientist at the Southwest Research Institute. He believes that after TC3, we should be looking at the whole asteroid threat differently. For the last decade or, or more, my colleagues and I have been worried about asteroids larger than one kilometer in diameter. We just didn't think that these small telescopes uh, in the Space Guard Survey, and they are rather small telescopes, would be capable of seeing smaller asteroids. Now we know we can spot them, but probably only as they approach Earth. The analysis never was done that we would see things on their final plunge to Earth. The death plunge is a totally new concept for the telescopic searches for asteroids. It's likely we'll only get a few days warning, perhaps a week. Because you can now warn people. If that were a larger object that was going to hit, if you give them a few days of warning, they'll get out of the way and they'll live. Imagine the warning has gone out. A 30-meter object is headed towards San Francisco and is due to impact in one week. It seems to be another F-class asteroid, perhaps a big brother of TC3 from the same asteroid collision. If a, an object like this exploded over San Francisco, it would wipe out um, everything north of Market Street. It would take out the bridges, it would take out the buildings. You'd have to evacuate. Many scientists believe that emergency management teams should now be preparing to deal with an asteroid threat like any other impending disaster. As the city waits for impact and a devastating explosion, the population is given clear notice and the streets empty. People leave in any way they can. Since the birth of the solar system, Earth has been hit by asteroids, large and small. Now, for the first time, we can see them coming. What we've learned from TC3 is that when a small asteroid is headed toward the Earth, there's an excellent chance that we can provide some days or weeks of warning to people, get people to evacuate, get them out of harm's way. Uh, maybe they can be 100 miles away and look back as the asteroid explodes, but they'll be safe. With advanced planning, when the time comes, we could now save thousands, even millions of lives.